Next up, we've got kind of a rookie on the scene. He, uh, he's got a couple segments, but I think this is his biggest one yet. We got Jake Majot. You guys like this kid? Jake's video, let's play it. Mango, Jake Mango. It's like a new cat with a lot, a lot of cool new stuff going on. I'm just always impressed with like what he comes up with, like the ideas that he has for tricks. Jake definitely stands out as somebody that's entirely unique and has a perspective unlike the rest of the crew this year. And I think it creates an edit that uh, you know, showcases a new and fresh approach to skiing in the streets and something that I'm really stoked to see. I know part of the equation for them is, is certainly this lo-fi, kind of gritty skate style influence. And the cameras are just like, you can just hold them really easily. Yeah, the fish eyes, it's all just like maneuverable, really easy. It's so nice to be able to zoom in on someone's face after they've landed a trick and you can capture emotion, I think, really well without having to like switch lenses or trying to focus it with your hand or something. We just tried to make the video like how we would make any other video, but just like go hard. It's a weird love-hate relationship when you're like super angry at the spot, but like getting close, sometimes it's like as much as you want to stop yourself from screaming and frustration, it just like pops out. I tried hitting this spot and it just, I didn't quite like line it up correctly and, and then the second day by like by 9.30, we had the shot. Yo, you're 21 today, bro. How does it feel? Quite different than yesterday. I was dancing around, like, turned 21. That was, like, one of my favorite memories, was just how happy we all were after we got that shot. And <laughs> Yes! Oh. Happy birthday, man! <laughs> It was crazy. I've never been that happy after getting a clip. It was just like emotional. No, yes! <laughs> Jake Majo, and this is my real ski video. Nick Morales, and this is my real ski video. Uh, I'm Oliver Hobbitzel, and this is Jake's real ski video. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a real ski video. My heart, yeah, you played it like a violin. Like a hurricane when I found you drunk. I wanted to believe you were the one. You said you can trust me. What you have done. I said, hey, don't turn your back on a sad boy. I said, hey. Said you're looking for a wild one. I said, hey, don't turn your back on a sad boy. I said, hey, your mama said you're looking for a wild one. Are you a wild one? I said, hey. That Nolly backflip, what? Yeah, man. A lot of Nollies in skiing are like faked, but if you look at his hips coming off the snow, he's actually rocking forward and popping off of his tip into a backflip. And it's just that nuance that like, it's not fake, it's, it's legit. It's just something I've never seen before. It, it might be my favorite shot in the whole series. First impression after watching Jake's edit, I was, I was very impressed. I think he represents a, a real cutting edge approach to street skiing, not only in style, but in how he uses his skis and how he uses the terrain and, 
He did a lot of things that had never been done before. I think that was certainly one of his goals coming into this event. And it makes for a, a very compelling and very impressive edit. 